Hello, Fishon. How are you doing? I hope you had a fantastic week. We serve a God that is faithful, just. His word said, heaven and earth will pass away, but none of his word will return to him void. He said, you are free. He said, you are beautiful. He said, his eye is on the sparrow and is watching over you. He is the one that looks after the lily, provides clothes for the lily, you know, but you are the apple of God's eyes. You are special in God's eye and he's watching over you. He said, I will not leave you. I will not leave you or forsake you. Lo, I'll be with you to the end of time. Stick your mind on the promise of God. Fix your mind on the promises of God. It shall be well with you. Yeah. He said, you are like a tree planted by the rivers of water. You bring forth your fruit in your season. Your leaf does not wither. Yeah. The sun may trust in horses. Some may trust in chariots. But we will trust in the name of the Lord our God. The name of the Lord is a strong tower. Come on. Speak the word of God into your life. It is well with you. He said, I sent forth my word and heal you of all your diseases. Are you sick in your body? Focus on the promise of God. It is well with you. Yeah. He said, the thoughts I have for you, thoughts of good and not for evil, to bring you to an expected end. Yeah. Fix your mind on these wonderful promises of God and it shall be well with you in Jesus' name. Amen. Perhaps this is your first time joining us. Welcome to One Church. This is what we're called Fusion. We're the junior church of One Church International. One Church International is located in Shangotedo area of Lagos. If you find yourself in the city of Lagos, please do join us. We meet 8 a.m. in the morning and 10 a.m. in the morning on Sundays. Yes. And if you dare, if you come to visit us, I guarantee you, by the grace of God Almighty, your life will never remain the same again. You'll be transformed. You'll be changed in Jesus' name. You'll move from glory to glory, from strength to strength. Yes. You will know that we serve a living God. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. We just finished our series, Discipleship. And I believe, I hope, guys, that you've been transformed, you've been changed, that you've learned so much from that lesson. Yes, yeah, we are disciples of Jesus Christ, becoming more and more like Christ every day. That's the goal of every child of God, of every follower of Jesus Christ. That's why we're called Christians, because we behave like Christ. We are Christ's disciples. We are the disciples of Jesus Christ. We need to behave like Christ in our actions, at home, at school, wherever we find ourselves. We are to behave like Christ. Yeah. Whenever, whatever situation you find yourself, you ask yourself, what would my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ do if he found himself, himself in this kind of situation? You need to fix your mind on those kind of things and it shall be well with you in Jesus name. Today guys we are going into a new series. Wonderful. Praise God. I'm super excited because each of these series are speaking directly to my life also and I'm getting better and better and better. Yes, God will help us all in Jesus name. I'm getting better as a husband, as a father and as your teacher also. Praise the name of the Lord. Yeah, the Bible says take heed. He that take heed that you don't think he that stands to take it lest he falls. At any point that thinks you are standing, take it lest you fall. So don't nobody, um, no Christian would think that I have arrived. You know, all of us we are learning, we are transforming every day. We are all learners in this race. Yeah, God help us in Jesus' name. Praise the name of the Lord. Today, we are going into a new series, Winning the War in Your Mind. Can you say after me, winning the war in your mind, praise the name of the Lord. The battles, uh, the battle happen in the mind. Yeah, people win or lose in the race of life from the mind. So they were going to learn winning the war in your mind. Praise the name of the Lord. Our thoughts are powerful. They change our perspective, impact our decision, and influence our habits. But what we do when we become trapped by our thoughts. What should we do when we become trapped by our thoughts? Unable to escape negative and unhealthy thinking. Yeah. Let's learn what it means to take our thoughts captive and win the war in our minds. Praise God. That's what we've been learning for the next four weeks, guys. Yeah. How to take our thoughts captive and win the war in our minds. We know already that we have every battle in life. We're fighting it from the standpoint of victory because we are more than conquerors in Jesus' name. Amen. Before we go into the lesson proper, 
like we do week in, week out. We're going to enjoy our praise and worship. We're going to enjoy in the presence of God. The Bible says, in the presence of God, there's what? Fullness of joy at His right hand. There are pleasures forevermore. So enjoy our praise and worship. Forget about everything. Rejoice. Rejoice in the presence of God. And I'll be back very soon. God bless you real good in Jesus' name. Amen and amen.
Welcome back guys. Yes, I hope you enjoyed the presence of God. Like I said in the beginning, in the presence of God there's fullness of joy. The Bible says, um, rejoice in the Lord always. And again I say, rejoice in all things. Give thanks for this is the will of God concerning you in Christ Jesus. You know, we don't worry, we don't care because we serve a God that is faithful and just. And we know he will supply all our needs. The Bible says, my God will supply all my needs according to his riches in Christ Jesus. And this is the confidence that we have that if we ask anything according to his will, praise God. What a, what, what a wonderful life to live a life of a Christian. Praise the name of the Lord. And this is where we're going to learn today. Winning the war in our mind. Praise the name of the Lord. The mind is a battlefield. Yeah, my thoughts, battles. Praise the name of the Lord. And today's topic from the series, Winning the War in Your Mind. Today's topic is taking your thought captives. Taking your thought captive. Taking your thoughts captive. Praise the name of the Lord. I don't know about you, but so many war in our minds, you know, you're not, you're not, you're not you're, you're them, am I going to succeed or not? 
uh, students, for instance, some of you are writing Waik right now. I know so many battles are going in your mind. Am I going to pass this mathematics? You're scared of maths. Yeah. Am I going to? Be, am I going to make it? You, you. Am I going to make it to university? Will I gain this admission? No. Some one negative. No, no. No. You're not good for it. You're not good for this university. This university will not take you. So many negative thoughts. Your parents are poor. They cannot afford to send you to school. That's just are the thoughts going so many of your mind. So many of you. That's just the kind of thoughts, negative thoughts in your mind. But today we are going to learn about taking your thoughts captive. Praise the name of the Lord. Battle between faith and fear. Praise the name of the Lord. You have faith that you're going to make it. You're going to gain that admission to the university. But there's another battle fear. The devil is creeping and telling you, no, you can't gain admission into that university. No, you are a child of a poor man. How dare you think of going into that kind of university? That school is not, they, are not, they, they will not take your type. Yeah, you are not good looking. Yeah, how dare you say you're going to keep company with this kind of people. Those are the kind of negative thoughts that we go through in life. You, you want to trust God and your mind is telling you, be in control. Be in control. Praise the name of the Lord. You have to have, you, you want to have confidence in calling, but creeping insecurity paralyzes you. You know, you want to, 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 to do this um, uh, ministry, but fear is paralyzing you. Most of our life battles are won or lost in our minds. Most of these battles are won or lost in your mind. But today, by the grace of God Almighty, you're going to be equipped with the right knowledge in Jesus' name so that you take your thought captives and in doing captive and in doing that, you're going to win in the race of life. Praise the name of the Lord. Let's quickly read the book of 2 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 3 to 4. 2 Corinthians chapter 10 verse 3 to 4, and I'm going to read it for you. Praise the name of the Lord. For though we live in the world, we do not wage war as the world does. The weapons we fight with are not the weapons of the world. On the contrary, they have divine power to demolish strongholds. Praise the name of the Lord. Divine power. Dunamis. That's the right word for, for that's the, the right word. Dunamis. Dunamis, explosive power, yeah, explosive power to demolish strongholds. Whatsoever strongholds are holding your mind captive, we have that strong power in Christ to demolish, you know, explosive power. The word divine power there it means the Greek word means explosive power. Praise the name of the Lord. God is going to help us in this life. We, 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 have, we are more than conquerors. You are more than conquerors. And I know after this series, by the grace of God Almighty, so many of you will have understanding on, on, on how to take control. Praise the name of Take charge of your mind. Praise the name of the Lord. Yeah, your mind will tell you, you can't trust. You know, the, the, what are the negative thoughts that, that are shaping your thinking? One thought at a time. Yeah, God doesn't answer prayers. That's one lie of the devil. You can't trust. You won't succeed. You know, negative thoughts. Always broke. You know, never good grades at school. These are negative thoughts. Never good grades. God doesn't hear our prayers. God doesn't care. Uh, yeah, you never make a different amount. You know what I mean? Praise the name of the Lord. But we are here to let you know in the book of 2 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 5, again, the Bible said what? We demolish every argument and every pre pretension that set itself up against the knowledge of God and we take captive every thought, yeah, to make it obedient to Christ. Praise God. I love the word of God. And you must always go back to the word of God. Praise God. Winning the war in our mind. Remember, we're trying to learn how to win the war in our mind. Praise the name of the Lord. Yeah. The cognitive behavior. The psych we're going to go learn about the, learn about something about what they call the cognitive behavior in psychology, you know, uh, shows rational challenges. You know, yeah, people, 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 people have eating disorders, you know, addiction, some forms of anxiety. It's a direct result of how we think, you know, yeah. You are bored, you know, you, 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 you want to go and, 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 and eat burger, eat all those, um, what do they call it, junks, you know. Some people are like that, praise the name of the Lord. You know, the Bible say, as a man thinks in his heart, so he is. Yeah, are you anxious? And once you are anxious, the next thing you think about, 
food. Some people want their anxious. What they need to think about is alcohol. They want to go and drink and get drunk. But we are not going in that direction today. We want to equip ourselves with the right uh, uh, thoughts. Yeah, winning the war in our minds. The series, entire series, is called "Winning the War in Our Mind." And today's topic is taking our thought captive. You are in control of your thought. Yeah, the Bible says, "As a man thinks in his heart, so is that man. As a woman, as a teenager, thinks in her heart, in their heart, so they are." Praise the name of the Lord. If you tell yourself, I am the best, I am beautiful. You know, you know how we say it, how we do our confession every day. You know, I am fearfully and wonderfully made. I'm a child of the most high God. I am beautiful. I am talented. I'm gifted. Those are things that should fix your mind on. God will help you all in the name of Jesus. The life we have is a reflection of the thoughts we think. The life we have is a reflection of are what we think. What we think determines who we become. And that's the truth. What we think determines who we become. Praise the name of the Lord. If you think you can't, you probably won't. If you think you can't, you probably will. Yeah. If you dwell on your problems in your mind, they will overwhelm you. Look out for solutions. See some. Praise the name of the Lord. If you feel like a victim, you become one. If you believe you can so you can. I remember um, former President Barack Obama, his team said, so yes, we can. Yeah, yes, we can. Yes, we can make a difference. Barack Obama was the first black president in America, you know, and his team said, yes, we can. He believed in himself. He believed that despite the fact that he is a black man, he could become the president of America. Guess what? He became the president of America not just once, but twice. He became president four years and another four years, eight years. Many presidents in America did not do for two terms, yeah, as president. But that black guy did it twice because he believed he could and he did it. So if you believe in your mind you can, then you can do it, yeah, uh, yeah. <clears throat> the life you have is a reflection of your thoughts, yeah. Praise the name of the Lord. Let's, there's, there's something we, we, we I, I put here, I, I, I hope my, um, uh, my media guys will be able to edit it. There's something called um, the thought audit, you know, yeah. We do gonna do like um, uh, numbers from one to ten, yeah. The lesser you go, um, one, um, let's say five to one, counting backward now, worried. Let's say five to ten now, peaceful, yeah. Then we have another one, negative thoughts, positive thoughts, yeah. Worldly and eternal. So I, I don't know how we're going to achieve that, but God will help us in Jesus' name. Worry people, they think too much about future, about money, about school, about their education, about so many things. Praise the name of Why are secured people? They, they are secured in God's promises. Yeah? Do what you can. Trust and have peace. Do what you can. Read your book. Study hard. But trust. Trust. You know, the Bible says some may trust in horses, some in chariots, some may trust in their abilities. But we will trust in the name of the Lord our God. Praise the name of the Lord. Yeah, yeah. Some, some, some people so much think in their ability that they can do, but they keep failing. Why not put your trust in God? Study hard, tr tr study hard, work hard. But at the end of the day, victory comes from God. So trust in the Lord and have a rest of mind. Negative people, they are critical people. They find fault. Yeah, they, dis they are discontent. Yeah, they are busy. You know, but positive people, they believe the best in people. Life is good. They are optimistic about the future. The future is bright. Yeah, what comes into your mind comes out in your life. What comes into your mind comes out in your life. No matter, yeah, what you do, yeah, what you have, what you know, who you know, what you buy. Where you live, where you travel, praise the name of the Lord. What comes into your life, comes, what comes into your mind, comes out in your life. Always remember that God will help us in Jesus' name. You cannot have a positive life when you have a negative mind. I repeat that again. You can't have a positive life when you have a negative mind. You cannot have a positive life when you have a negative mind. Your life 
always moving in the direction of your strongest thoughts. Your life is always moving in the direction of your strongest thoughts. Are you excited about the direction your thoughts are taking you? Are you excited right now at the moment at the direction your thoughts are taking you? Are you excited in the direction? Okay, I take that. Are you excited about the direction your thoughts are taking you? God help us in the name of If not, change your thinking. That's my advice for you. Change your thinking. Change your thinking. If you are not excited about the direction, yeah, your thoughts are taking you. Change your thinking. Simple. God will help us in Jesus' name. Identify the strongest stronghold holding you back. That's the number one step you do. Identify the strongest, identify the biggest stronghold holding you back. Not good enough. My past is not good enough. These are the negative towards the stronghold. I can't trust. Yeah? Always battle uh, weight. Are we good? Yeah. Not good with money. Uh, uh, all my relationships, they break down. You know what I mean? God will help us in Jesus' name. Every thought creates a neurochemical change in your body. Praise the name of the Lord. Every thought you think, yeah, creates what they call a neurochemical change in your body. Every thought you think. Positive thoughts, they search a rewarding neurotransmitters called dopamine. There's one, something called dopamine. You guys are, are in school, you're a student. I know you know what dopamine is. It's called D-O. It's spelled D-O-P-A-M-I-N-E. Dopamine. Yeah? It, it's a reward. You know, when you, some of you, when you, when you, when you post something on social media, TikTok, um, Instagram, your IG, and you, you see, you want to check your likes. Maybe you, you, you post something, I get one million views. That feeling that comes to you, dopamine, you know? You know, you're excited. That's dopamine there. Praise the name of the Lord. You look at yourself in the mirror. You check, oh boy, I'm handsome. Dopamine. You look at yourself in the mirror. Look at your beautiful hair. Oh, my hair is beautiful. That feeling you feel. Dopamine. Yeah, you're looking good. Dopamine. God will help us in Jesus' name. Yeah, so we need to create nice thought patterns. When you, when, when you, negative thoughts, Creating unhealthy, unhelpful neural pathways. Negative thoughts also create their own pathways. When imagine you you post something on your social media and um, you go and check, no likes. You know that kind of feeling, negative. Yeah, you post a video on TikTok, zero views. Ha ha ha. Negative. Ah, uh, yeah, that one too has its own. You are frustrating. School days. Ah, I don't want to go to school. It's another Monday again. Ah, I don't want to go to school. You don't want to do things. Chaos. You are confused. Yeah? Praise the name of the Lord. What I tell you that is for you to pause and pray. Praise the name of the Lord. When you feel bad about yourself, praise the name of the Lord. Instead of some people, when they feel bad, bad about themselves, when they're feeling bad, they want to go and have some cake, they want to go and have chips, they want to go and have ice cream. I advise you. A positive person, that's a negative person, no. Once he's feeling bad, ice cream, chips, cake. But a positive person feeling bad, walk out. Take a walk. Praise the name of the Lord. A, a positive person, if you are frustrated, if it's frustrating, is having a frustrating day, you pause and pray and hug. Praise the name of the Lord. But a negative person, chaos, start yelling. Praise the name of the Lord. Start yelling, shouting unnecessarily yeah when a negative person is bored they start scrolling through instagram tiktok becomes jealous he's feeling like a loser but a positive person will look out for his vision praise the name of the lord god will help us in the name of jesus to think in a different way forge a new part in your brain if you're a negative person today it's because of the neural pattern you've created in your mind yeah Identify, I, I, I take that again. To think in a different way, forge a new path in your brain. Praise the name of the Lord. The more you walk the path, the easier it becomes. The more you walk in that new path that you create for self, a, a negative person creating a, a new path for himself, and the more you walk in that path, the easier it becomes for you. The more you choose things that are, the future is bright for you, that you are living, you are complete, yeah, that you are fearful and wonderfully made. You don't need an addition. 
you are whole yeah god is going to help us all in jesus name identify the biggest stronghold holding you back we'll say that again yeah praise the name of the lord god is going to help us in the name of jesus yeah yeah you you know negative talk like i'm helpless i'm hopeless hopelessness wordlessness pointlessness all those things are not good praise the name of the lord identify the biggest stronghold and god is going to help us in jesus name number two name the truth that demolishes those stronghold name the truth that demolish demolishes that stronghold name the truth that demolishes demolishes that stronghold truth praise the name of the lord second corinthians chapter 10 verse 5 we demolish arguments and every pretension that set itself up against the knowledge of god and we take captive every thought to make it obedient to christ you know those negative thoughts when they say you are not enough that negative thought that say ah Ah, I'm not enough. Oh. I'm not good enough. Oh. Praise the Lord. What's the truth? He tells us that I'm good enough. Praise the name of the Lord. When that negative thought comes, ah, I'm not good. I cannot do this. It say, no, no way. I'm good enough. We are good enough. Praise. We are children of the Most High God. Praise the name of the Lord. Second Peter chapter uh, one verse three. Second Peter chapter one verse three. What did he say? His divine power has given us everything. Yeah, for a goodly for a godly life his divine power has given us everything we need for a godly life praise the name of the lord praise the name of the lord we have the time the patience energy wisdom people all the resources god has given to us praise the name of the lord his divine power has given us yeah one scripture you should read is john chapter 8 verse 32 know the truth and the truth shall set you free yeah when this negative talk comes to you i can't get all done you say i can do all things through christ who gives me strength praise the name of lord when you feel like you're not attractive yeah you don't like the way you look some people you just look at yourself in the mirror oh you don't like the way you look you tell yourself i am fearfully and wonderfully made praise god hallelujah some people feel misery miserable yeah some people just a day they feel so miserable you said the joy of the lord is my strength praise god when when, when you feel like as if you're not attractive you don't like the way you look you tell yourself i am fearfully and wonderfully made when you feel there's some people so you feel so miserable you tell yourself the joy of the lord is my strength praise the name of the lord when you feel alone you say god is with me when you are alone praise the name of the lord he will never leave me he will never forsake me praise the name of the lord some people when you feel like a victim your 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 the negative thoughts come in and you feel like a say i am an overcomer praise the name of the lord praise god praise the name of the lord uh, life motivating direction you have to motivate yourself always and i pray in the name of jesus that your life will never remain the same that you fill yourself with positive thoughts and become a positive person change your mind from that of negativity and that of positive positivity and god's going to help you to become a better teenager a better child to your parents a better student and your future is bright do not be afraid because your future is going to be beautiful in jesus name father thank you for an amazing lesson today taking our thought captives father in the name of jesus give us all the ability that we need to take our thought captive we will win the war in our minds so that we have a, a better life Praise the name of the Lord, because the Bible says the thief comes not, but to still kill and to destroy. But I have come that you might have life and have it more abundantly. The devil is trying to steal our joy, but he cannot steal our joy. We win the war in our mind. Praise the name of the Lord. Your words say we are free. Your words say we are fearfully and wonderfully made. Nothing is too difficult for our God. Father, we give you glory, we give you honor. For in Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. Yeah, guys, until I come again your way next time, stay blessed. Remember, you are more than conquerors. God bless you in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Before we go, let's say our every Sunday confession. It shouldn't be every Sunday confession. It should be our daily confession. Every day you wake up, you tell yourself, I am blessed. Praise God. I am prosperous. I am talented. I am creative. I am forgiven. I am redeemed. I am free. Say, I am valuable. I'm anointed. Amen. I am equipped. 
God has equipped us. Amen. I am beautiful. Say that to yourself. I am beautiful. Amen. You are beautiful in Jesus' name. Say, I am attractive. Made you attractive in Jesus' name. I am amazing. I love this one. I am amazing. I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Child of God, say it like you mean it. I am a child of the Most High God. Praise the name of the Lord. I have seeds of greatness. I have seeds of greatness on the inside of me. I'll become all he has created me to be. I will become all God has created me to be in the mighty name of Jesus. I am victorious. We are victorious in Jesus' name. Amen. Have a victorious week, my friends, in Jesus' name. God bless you and keep you. God make his face shine over you and give you peace in the name of Jesus. You will excel in this life in the name of Jesus. You shall be called blessed. Blessed are you in your going out. Blessed are you in your coming in in the name of Jesus. You will know the truth and the Bible says if you know the truth, the truth shall set you free. You are free indeed in the name of Jesus. No weapon fashion form against you shall prosper in the name of Jesus. The hand of God rest upon you. Uh, you shall flourish like cedar in Lebanon in in the name of Jesus, your life will not be cut short. You will live to fulfill your days and your assignment in this life in the name of Jesus. Thank you, God, for answering our prayers. I pray all this over your life in the mighty name of Jesus. And everyone say, Amen. God bless you, real girl.